Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations. x plus y is equal to 4 and x to the power 5 plus y to the power 5 is equal to 464. We need to find all possible pairs of solutions of x and y. So, let's start. We name this equation equation 1 and this equation equation 2. First of all, we take a square of both sides of equation 1. Equation 1 is x plus y is equal to 4. And we take a square of both sides of this equation. This x plus y whole squared is equal to x squared plus y squared plus 2xy is equal to this uh, 4 squared is 16. Now, we move this uh, plus 2xy to the right hand side. Then uh, this equation will become x squared plus uh, y squared is equal to 16 minus 2xy. We name this equation equation 3. Now, we take a cube of uh, both sides of uh, equation 1. Equation 1 is x plus uh, y is equal to 4 and we take a cube of both sides of uh, this equation. This uh, x plus y whole cube is equal to x cubed plus y cubed plus uh, 3 times x y times x plus y is equal to 4 cubed is 64. Now, in place of uh, this uh, x plus y, we put the value of x plus y 4 from equation 1. Then, this equation will become x cubed plus uh, y cubed plus uh, 3xy times, in place of xy, we put 4 is equal to 64. Next, x cubed plus uh, y cubed plus uh, 3xy times 4, 12xy is equal to 64. And we move this uh, plus 12xy uh, to the right hand side, then this equation will become x cubed plus uh, y cubed is equal to 64 minus 12xy. We name this equation equation 4 and we multiply equation 3 by equation 4. So, the left hand side of equation 3 is uh, x squared plus uh, y squared times uh, left hand side of equation 4 is uh, x cubed plus y cubed is equal to right hand side of equation 3 is 16 minus 2xy times right hand side of equation 4 is 64 minus 12xy. Now, this uh, x squared times this x cubed will become x to the power 5 plus x squared times y cubed will become x squared y cubed plus y squared times x cubed x cubed y squared and y squared times y cubed plus y to the power 5 is equal to this uh, right hand side remains same 16 minus 2xy times 64 minus 12xy. Now, we rearrange this expression x to the power 5 plus uh, this y to the power 5. From these two terms, uh, we can factor out x squared y squared plus x squared 
y squared as common factor and in bracket left x plus y is equal to this 16 minus 2 x y times 64 minus 12 x y. Now, in place of this uh, x plus y and in place of this uh, x to the power 5 plus uh, y to the power 5, we put the values 4 and 464. The value of x to the power 5 plus uh, y to the power 5 is uh, 464 plus x squared times y squared times value of x plus y is 4 is equal to 16 minus 2 x y times 64 minus 12 x y. Now, from these two terms, uh, we can factor out 4. 4 as common factor and in bracket left uh, 116 plus x squared y squared is equal to 16 minus 2 x y. From these two terms, uh, we can factor out 4. 4 as common factor and in bracket left uh, 16 minus 3x y. Now, if we divide both sides by 4, this 4 will be cancelled out with this 4. So, at left hand side, we are left with the 116 plus this uh, x squared y squared can be written as x y squared is equal to this 16 minus 2 x y times 16 minus 3 x y. Now, here we have x y, here we have x y and here we have x y. So, we suppose that let x y is equal to m and we substitute m in place of every x y then this equation will become 116 plus m squared is equal to 16 minus 2 m times 16 minus 3 m. Next, 116 plus m squared is equal to 16 times 16, 256. 16 times negative 3m, negative 48m. Negative 2m times 16, negative 32m. Negative 2m times negative 3m plus 6m squared. Now, we subtract 116 and m squared from both sides. So, this will be cancelled out, this will be cancelled out. This is 16 m squared minus 1 m squared, 5 m squared, negative 48 m minus 32 m, negative 80 m, and 256 minus 116 plus 140 is equal to 0. Now, if we divide both sides of this equation by 5, then this equation will become m squared minus 16 times m plus 28 is equal to 0. Now, this uh, quadratic equation is factorable. We write this m squared, m squared we split this uh, negative 16m as, we split this negative 16 as negative 2m minus 14m plus 28 is equal to 0. And from these two terms, uh, we can factor out m, m times m minus 2.
from these two terms uh, we can factor out negative 14 negative 14 times m minus 2 is equal to 0 now this m minus 2 this m minus 2 is a common factor so we factor out this m minus 2 and uh, in bracket left m minus 14 is equal to 0 so from here we get two values of m m is equal to 2 and uh, m is equal to 14 now recall that recall that x y is equal to m we have supposed that x y is equal to m so this equation will become x y is equal to 2 and this equation will become x y is equal to 14 now to find the values of x and y we recall equation 1 equation 1 is x plus y is equal to 4 equation 1 is x plus y is equal to 4 and we write equation 1 here x plus y is equal to 4 now we have two systems of equations first we solve this one we move this x to the right hand side then y will be equal to 4 minus x and in this equation we replace this y with this 4 minus x then this equation will become x times 4 minus x is equal to 2 x x times 4 4 x and x times negative x negative x squared is equal to 2 you move with these two terms to the right hand side then this will become x squared minus 4 x plus 2 is equal to 0 now according to quadratic formula x is equal to negative value of b negative 4 plus or minus square root r in place of b squared we write negative 4 squared minus 4 times value of a 1 times value of c 2 divided by 2 times value of a 1 x x is equal to this minus and this minus will become positive 4 plus or minus square root of negative 4 squared is 16 and 16 minus 8 8 divided by 2 times 1 2 next x is equal to 4 plus or minus this is square root of 8 can be written as a square root of 4 times 2 divided by 2 next x is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 times square root of 2 divided by 2 next x is equal to from these two terms uh, we can factor out 2 2 as common factor and uh, in bracket left uh, 2 plus minus square root of 2 divided by 2 now these two will be cancelled out with this 2 and from here we get uh, two values of x x1 is equal to 2 plus uh, root 2 and x2 is equal to 2 minus root 2 now to find the values of y we use this equation y is equal to 4 minus x y is equal to 4 minus x so when x is equal to this expression then y will be equal to y will be equal to 4 minus 2 minus root 2 
and y will be equal to 2 minus root 2. So, this is the first value of 1, 2 minus root 2 and first value of x is 2 plus root 2. Now, when x is equal to this expression, then y will be equal to y will be equal to 4 minus 2 plus root 2. So, y will be equal to 2 plus root 2. This is the second value of y and this is the second value of x. Now, we solve this system, we move this x to the right hand side then y will be equal to 4 minus x and we replace this y with this 4 minus x then this equation will become x time 4 minus x is equal to 14. In x times 4, 4 x, x times negative x, negative x squared is equal to 14. We move these two terms to the right hand side then x squared minus 4 x plus 14 is equal to 0. And according to quadratic formula x is equal to negative value of b negative 4 plus or minus square root r. In place of b squared we write in negative 4 squared minus 4 times in place of a we write 1 times in place of c we write 14 divided by 2 times in place of a we write 1. X x is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of this uh, negative 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times 1 times 14 56 divided by 2 next x is equal to 4 plus minus square root of 16 minus 56 negative 40 divided by 2 and x is equal to 4 plus or minus this uh, square root of uh, negative 40 can be written as uh, square root of 4 times 10 times i divided by 2 and x is equal to 4 plus minus uh, square root of 4 is 2 times square root of 10 i divided by 2. Now, 2 1 time and 2 2 times 4 and 2 1 time. So, from here we get 2 values of x, x 3 is equal to 2 plus root 10 i and x 4 is equal to 2 minus root 10 i. By using this equation y is equal to 4 minus x, we find the value of y3 is equal to 2 minus root 10 i and y4 is equal to 2 plus root 10 i. So, these are the 4 pairs of solutions of x comma y.